it's been a month since the release of Armory, and despite the fact that we have an official FAQ, the community still has quite a few questions regarding this event. For example, in the game files, the Armory is still called a seasonal operation, but at the same time, the word operation was removed in the localization, and we did not see a new medal with normal missions. Thanks to a user named Sora, we were able to get an answer directly from the Valve devs. She sent an email to Gabe Newell and received a response from one of the CS2 developers. Sarah kindly agreed to show me the originals of the letters and I can confirm the legitimacy of this information. In a nutshell, the Armory is not a temporary event and will remain in the game forever. This is a new part of the main menu that will not be removed. The only temporary part is the collectible Deagle with unique patterns. They did not specify whether new items will be changed or added in the future, but this is quite obvious. The Armory is a spiritual successor of the Arms Deal update, which was added a year after the release of CSGO. So now the developers simply added a new type of monetization that makes you actually play the game, and not just buy cases on the Steam market. So instead of cases, just go exchange skins on Skins Monkey. Use code Gaben and get up to a $5 bonus. Select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and exchange your old and ugly CSGO items to something new and shiny from Counter-Strike 2. Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top-up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. Along with a major Counter-Strike 2 update, we got a new minigame map type in Source 2 tools. Generally, it's not really needed to create a new type for custom game modes. Almost everything can be implemented on normal maps using scripts, especially considering that the developers have a full-fledged Pulse tool for visual programming in TypeScript. This line first appeared in the Dota 2 update with a new character called Ringmaster. But the problem is that it is not used in any way in Dota or other Valve games. Minigames with fishing and fight clubs use a completely different type called UI background that is something that can work directly in the panorama UI interface, like a build in window. For example, in CS2 the same type is used for all backgrounds in the main menu, weapon inspections and preview screen in settings. The only reasonable explanation why devs need a completely new map type is to create exceptions in the engine. For example, if in the main game and modes there are some restrictions on various mechanics or actions, then when the minigame mode is activated, these restrictions disappear and the developers give map creators more freedom and access to more functions. Such improvements will greatly help modders like Lily, who rolls out new minigames almost every week using the current hacks or workarounds of mapping. Ultimately, it would be great to see some kind of the arcade mode from Dota where you can create completely unique games without any restrictions. By the way, custom games in Dota use the standard map type, not the new one. Immediately after the release of Counter-Strike 2, scripts for the official surf mode and bot training aim maps appeared in the files. In theory, this may be related to Deadlock, which is also interesting. However, it is still in the early alpha and adding such functionality, not to mention the tools, seems a bit too early. The first mentions of keychains for CSGO appeared in 2017 when the names of six models were leaked a K-47, Banana, Bloodhound, Grenade, Plasma Ball and Sugar Skull. But in the end we received only two of them and even then one is not a banana, just some kind of sausage. Based on this we can assume what other options we can see in the future. James Ree Gregory noticed that there are three unreleased skins in each new collection and it's kinda strange since previous collections had 19 skins when these have only 16 so maybe we will see them in the future. He also showed an interesting concept of how keychains might look on knives. And it seems like a a really good idea since we see melee weapons much more often than skins. Speaking of keychains, I'm almost sure that the developers have prepared some sort of team keychains for one of the following majors. They don't really need to model each logo from scratch and they can simply use a pre-created metal plate to which custom material will be applied. It is important to note that the developers were preparing much more content for this update but released only what was ready. I suppose this was due to the massive outrage of the community. And you can see that immediately after a long break fixes began to come out every few days. Based on what different people told me, we should have seen a small rotation of community maps and several full remakes of official maps. We will talk about them a little later. In addition, there should have been new patches for agents and a pack of graffiti. I think many were surprised 
that we did not see any hint of new agents, but I have a simple explanation. With the keychain leaks, we regularly saw lines related to cosmetic clothing elements. And as I have repeatedly said in previous videos, apparently we will be able to customize our own character from different clothing elements. This mechanic has already been used in Counter-Strike Online 2, from which devs quite often took various ideas. And let's not forget that in the official concepts, the very first type of monetization was in the form of clothing. In addition to this, something strange is happening with chickens. We have already discussed pets, but the developers continue to work on some kind of chicken system. In the update with new animations for chickens, there are strange animation sequences for picking up and squeezing chickens. The best showcase was made by a dude named Pop Wow. Pets already exist as a full-fledged part of the loadout, similar to a knife, gloves, graffiti, a set of music or an agent. Since the release of Counter-Strike 2, mentions of some object called a pet have regularly appeared in the game files and there was a chicken on his placeholder. The only Valve game that has pets is Dota 2. But the problem is that in 10 years they added only one small hedgehog that just runs after the player. Finally, developers began to gradually release updates for the sub-tick system and damage prediction. At the moment, it is quite difficult to say how this will affect the gameplay, but right now it is known that the new system is not fully implemented and they simply collect information from the client and send it to the server. Basically, it should predict the result of the shot on the client side in order to reduce the delay and make the gameplay smoother with differences in pain. It is possible that the developers are preparing to release some significant improvement to the network code trying to fix the most obvious problems. Along with this, a new window with a kick warning appeared in one of the updates. The error is related to VecNet and the anti-cheat automatically kicks the player if it notices abnormal behavior. Again, it's good that developers are doing at least something in this direction. But what exactly and when we will see the results is not yet known, especially considering that we still haven't got access to the Overwatch. A huge system related to the NPC's limbs destruction appeared in CS2. Looking at the strings, we can say that each limb will have a certain amount of health, and when some of them are shot off, the character will completely die. I doubt that this system is somehow connected with Counter-Strike and rather sounds like something from Left 4 Dead, but we will talk more about this in the next HLX video. And finally, map remakes. We already knew about a full-fledged remake of Cobblestone in the winter style, but in past updates there were hints of a train remake. We already saw footage with an improved version, but a year has passed, and there is nothing. Judging by the initial finds, the style of the map can change significantly. The soundscapes clearly mention rain and storm. A new blend material for simplified creation of the wet surfaces has appeared in the tools. All sorts of lines related to rain rendering and shaders regularly appear in the engine strings, and a graffiti with an abbreviation like Die AF or Die in the fire. 2024 has appeared in the decals. Additionally, according to my info, we should see Lake and some maps for the arms race. It might be Lake itself though. Leave a comment with a brick emoji if you watched this far and check out the previous video in which I'm going